Yeah, I, I moved to Worthington back as a third grader and so went through the Worthington school system all the way to graduation in 1994. Um, after graduating from Worthington, I went to the University of Sioux Falls, um, started in like a pre-chiropractic program, uh, exercise science is kind of what I started as. Um, I was also playing college basketball and part of the, the outdoor track season as a high jumper um, and with the required amount of hours needed to be in the training room for that major, it wasn't going to work out. So then that's when I switched uh, probably as a sophomore to uh, math educations. After graduating from there, I went to Malacca, Minnesota, which is up kind of near St. Cloud area. And I taught for three years there doing mostly middle school math with some ninth grade algebra. And I got a call from Coach Warwald saying that there was a, a teaching position and coaching options back here in, in Worthington, wondered if we were looking to come back home. So it was 16 years of teaching math here at the high school. Um, and in this last, this is now year five in administration. But comparing the two jobs from the Learning Center to the high school, um, really probably the, the eight o'clock to three o'clock day is very similar. Um, talking with staff, talking with students, um, dealing with discipline or, you know, just monitoring hallways. The difference, the big one for me and, and Kind of the reason I moved from the Learning Center here is those extras of the VIBE program and the after school program and summer school. Like that's a lot of planning I ended up doing in the evenings and on weekends because you just kind of ran out of time during the day. So my day to day job really feels a lot the same. Um, it's a little more freedom come evening time with my family in the weekends. And so that's been a good change for me. What I find probably be more difficult at the high school than the Learning Center is just the number of students. Like at the Learning Center, it's a small environment where I pretty much knew every student. I knew their name. Um, when, when I had an office referral or a student came in, I knew who that person was. And had a, after a year or two years there, I, I kind of had a pretty good idea of their background. Here at the high school with 1,100 students, Every day there's somebody who walks in because they skipped a class or were marked absent for something and I have to ask them what their name is because I've never met them before. So that's that's probably the biggest one is it's really hard to get to know 1,100 kids. In the Learning Center, a lot more time was talked about how you can make it to graduation. Here, they all, a lot of students want to make it to graduation. It's like, okay, so if, you're, if you want to graduate from high school, you have to pass this class or you need to do this. Um, it's a little bit more supporting their motivation versus learning center where you're trying to help motivate them to get there you get to see successes through a, you know a student passing a class or passing a test or you know kid will high five me for like i made it to all my classes today like that's a good thing and then ultimately always graduation day is is the true reward and at the heart of the student they're pretty similar to what they've always been. Um, I think the biggest change through the years, and, and again, I've been in education with 23 years, which isn't necessarily forever, but long enough. Um, I really think that family dynamics have changed so much, a lot more single families. And, and currently here at the high school and in Worthington is, yeah, we have a lot of students who are new to country who are here with an uncle or just some kind of a sponsor and, and they have very little support system at all at home. Now they're trying to navigate our school system, um, our, our community, and then also working to be able to pay for their food and rent and car and insurance and that kind of stuff. It's been nice, um, you know, being back at the high school. I think the, the time frame of being at the Learning Center was a good gap for for myself and, and you know like this challenges of coming back to a staff you were alongside versus now overseeing and I think it was a good learning experience being away and um, I'm really glad to be back. Um, it's been fun to be part of I, I guess I call it kind of the Trojan atmosphere of the high school. I really enjoyed that.